Now to that interview with Egert Magnusson. The West Ham chairman has been speaking to Dan Rowan. Is Carlos Tevez's affair now over, do you think? Yeah, it's uh, over with regards to West Ham, finally. Are you a relieved man then? Yeah, I'm very relieved, you know. But at the same time, I would like to uh, say what a very good player Carlos Tevez is and a fine young man, and I wish him all the best for the future. Do you blame anyone in particular for what happened? No, I, you know, a lot of things happened uh, at West Ham, uh, you know, in August of last year, and uh, uh, there are probably some individuals who were at the club at that time who are responsible. Someone like Terence Brown, for example. Yeah, your predecessor. Uh, Would you welcome him back to Upton Park? Well, uh, uh, he, he's not uh, very welcome at the moment, at least. Scott Duxbury, though, was of that former administration, and he remains. But he, you don't blame for what happened. No, he was not uh, a member of the board of West Ham at that time, and you know. Do you feel that ultimately, looking back at it now, that West Ham were made a scapegoat to some extent by what happened? Well, I, I cannot comment on that. I'm just happy that the whole saga is behind us at the moment. But at the time, were you relieved to not have points deducted? Or were you feeling hard done by to have a £5 million fine? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, we, we never thought for one moment that we would have uh, points deducted. Because what uh, people tend to forget is that the players were always correctly registered with West Ham United from the beginning. And uh, what regards the fine, it was a very, very heavy fine. And, you know, I think uh, uh, if you look internationally, the, the, something like this has never happened before. Do you anticipate or expect any kind of action still from Sheffield United? Or is this definitely over? Well, from our point of view, it's definitely over. You're not worried about that at all? No. Do you feel it overshadowed the achievements of Alan Kerbishley last season, as well as Carlos Tevez, perhaps, in keeping the club up? Yeah, I mean, there were 11 players out there in every match uh, during the final months, and uh, uh, although Carlos Tevez played a, a big part, you know, all those 11 players uh, deserve the credit. And uh, uh, also Alan Kerbisley, I think uh, with this whole Tevez affair, the great achievement he, he, he you know, did with uh, getting the team out of problem has been forgotten a little bit. Do the rules have to change now to stop any confusion over third-party ownership, do you feel? I think the rules have to uh, be more clear. There should be no grey areas. And personally, I'm totally against third-party ownership and have been from the beginning. Because there's other ways, aren't there, in which influences can, can come in from outside. For example, Luis Boamorte, is it right to say that you were asked not to play him against his former club Fulham? That's a form of external influence, is it not? Yeah, I quite agree with that. 